Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create uh, switches that will uh, that you can use to program override effects for your scenes. Uh, for example, we'll take the CMY here, and so what this is is this is two Design Spot 300s, uh, you know, offsetting uh, each other, uh, panning left and right. And you know, just the flags going CMY, white, CMY, white, and stuff like that. So, what you want to do is you want to make sure this scene is selected, create a new switch, we'll name it CMY strobe. Uh, as you see now, include the current scene, CMY. Uh, you, don't, you do not need to link it to the dimmer function of all channels, and you do not need to link it to easy step function of all channels. So hit OK with edit. And so now you'll see here make this bigger. You'll see here you have your, your both of your fixtures set up, ready to go. So we'll want to change this on both steps. Uh, you don't have to keep both steps because I mean really it's going to keep the same values from your scene. If you want to keep those steps, that's fine. But um, actually we don't really need them so we'll just get rid of them. So what you want to do is just simply go on and off. You want to right click over this easy step box here. Or whatever is here on, your, on you guys' screens. Right click here. Drag it. So, like I said, we don't want it to override the uh, the pan and tilt values. Uh, we don't want it to override anything, pretty much. So we can even take off the CMY here, and uh, we'll do that. Basically, all we really want to leave on is the shutter and dimmer channels, because that's the only thing that we're modifying in this one. didn't exactly copy my information from the previous scene over but that's fine so we'll tr open up the shutters dimmer we'll go all the way up to value uh, 223 here value 223 is coming up soon So now, um, this is just going to be your step here. So, yeah. really, you don't even need a fader the whole time because it's just going to change the shutter. It's just going to go from open to strobe. I mean, and really, if you think about it, you can do this with anything. Uh, you know, if you want just a static CMY color, you leave the CMY on, change your values. Uh, color wheel, same thing. Gobos, same thing. Uh, you know, your customized preset movements that you've made uh, using the effects generator. You take that scene and copy it as a switch. And leaving on just the pan and tilt values, then you can use that movement for any scene. Uh, I mean, really with this, the... Switches on the channel on or off property is very versatile, very almost unlimited uh, options for how you can use it. So uh, I'll show you now. You just go do button, close, and save, and you will see over here over the switches section. See my strobe. Your values will go from 226 to 223. There'll be no strobe. Strobe, no strobe, strobe. I mean, you can tell on my page I have a bunch of switches. Uh, I have colors, I have effects built. Um, you know, more colors, more different effects. Um, I even have a, a sequence between colors. It goes uh, red and blue for the cops. Um, just uh, do this, use this for a 
bunch of different things. Uh, it's a very tool to use, and uh, that's how you do it. So if, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to send me a message uh, on the comments for this video, or send me a message on YouTube, or my email is uh, jameysk at elationlighting.com. So, um, you know, feel free to contact me somehow if you guys have any questions about this. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and hope it works good for you. Bye.